One of the first players I really thought was great was Tyrell Murray. He was still one of my faves. There are more problems in the British royal family after it was said that Prince William hit Queen Camilla so hard that she had a temper tantrum. What seemed like a peaceful union between the royal couple has turned into a heated argument, which has caused rumors of trouble in the halls of Buckingham Palace, with the acts of the future king putting the delicate balance of power to the test. At this point, everyone wants to know why Prince William challenged Queen Camilla. What will happen to the British throne because of this fight? Come with us as we share what Prince William was thinking. Will this fight be the start of a long time of fighting between Prince William and Queen Camilla? What do you think? Will this event wake you up, allowing both sides to get along and find common ground? Let's find out. Some people in the public and the royal family are fighting. People who are close to the royal family say that there may have been disagreements about how to handle certain royal duties and public events. These differences seem to have grown over time, and a recent public event brought to light how tense things are getting. This happens all the time with the British royal family. They have always been closely watched by the public because of the complicated personal ties within the institution. The complicated bond between Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Diana is one example. Diana's modern public activities often went against the monarchy's traditional ideals, which led to underlying tensions even though she was very popular. Also, the relationship between Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and other members of the royal family got a lot of attention from the public. When they decided to step down from their royal duties and then talked about their personal problems with the family, it caused a lot of public debate and media attention. The way people think about the royal family is affected by both their government duties and their personal relationships. British people and people from all over the world usually think of the royalty as more than just a government. They see the kings as guardians of traditions, history, and national unity. Any sign of disagreement or departure from normal behavior usually gets a lot of attention, which leads to assumptions and talks in the public and media. These problems have become more important since what happened with Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla. Bringing up how hard it is to balance personal feelings with the strict requirements of royal tasks. The monarchy's rules and customs are meant to keep things in order and respectable. Despite this, they can also be too much, especially when family members try to show who they are. Kate's decision not to bow down to Camilla could have been a way for her to show her freedom and self-governance within the strict rules of the royal establishment. For outsiders, skipping a curtsy might not seem important, but in royal settings, it has very important meanings. These things show respect and following the rules and not doing them can have a symbolic meaning. Kate's choice shows how tradition and public attention work together in a complicated way in her family. People often see the British royal family as a sign of stability in a world that changes quickly, with its beauty and long-standing customs that give it a sense of permanence. But things like the most recent fight between Kate and Camilla show the more personal side of this respected group where personal relationships and official duties mix. Emotions and traditions don't always match up with these duties, making them hard to handle. However, people think that royalty is no longer needed because times have changed. There are still great links between them though. Let's look into that. Why royal traditions are still relevant today. Finding the right balance between custom and modern needs is not easy. This case shows how the monarchy is always changing as it tries to stay relevant in the 21st century. As Kate and other younger royal family members take on bigger responsibilities, these events are likely to change how the public sees them and how they interact with their family. It makes you wonder if they will strictly follow old traditions or try to change their jobs based on their own beliefs and how society is changing. The results of this study will have a big impact on how the monarchy moves forward in the future. At the moment, this event is making the royal family and people who watch them think about the constant fight between personal feelings and societal expectations. This idea has been a part of the British monarchy for a long time. As people around the world watch, it will be interesting to see how the royal family deals with this new problem and how it might affect the institution's future, as well as the constant struggle between old-fashioned ideals and modern progress. King Charles III unexpectedly quit as king, which has caused changes in the UK and other places. People who work close to the palace say that Camilla, the queen consort, was clearly upset and could be seen crying over this news. This choice is a very important one in British history. The future of the kingdom will be very different in ways that were not possible before. It was made public after several private talks between members of the royal family. This was the legal end of the king's reign. The news that King Charles III is stepping down has been heard all over the world. It is a very important event in the long history of the kingdom. Many people were caught off guard by this sudden choice, which came about after a lot of private talks within the royal family. 
There are reports from close to Buckingham Palace that Queen Consort Camilla has been greatly affected by what has happened and has been moved to tears. This makes the situation even more serious. King Charles's decision to step down has caused a lot of trouble for the throne and has shocked people who follow the royal family. Charles finally became King King when Queen Elizabeth II died, after a long wait. Even though it was short, his rule has been mostly about updating the government and adapting to how British society is changing. His choice to resign, on the other hand, is a big departure from royal tradition, since abdications are rare and usually have bad results. There were rumors of tension and uncertainty in the royal family before the announcement. Some people who know Charles well have hinted that he was feeling more and more pressure from family and friends to change his mind. People were said to be talking about the king's health, public opinion, and the future of the kingdom. Many people thought that Charles would continue to do his job as a part of the royal family even though things were hard. But his decision to step down shows how important the problems he had to deal with were. Camilla is thought to have been deeply affected by this choice because she has been there for Charles for a long time. As queen consort, she has had to deal with obstacles and public attention. Because Charles's retirement has made the problem more personal for her, it makes her feel more emotionally heavy. How does this put the royal family in danger? Let's find out. A threat to the royal family. The couple said that Camilla looked like she was upset, trying to understand what's going on in their lives now. The tears in her eyes show how deeply this choice has hurt people in the royal circle. King Charles's choice to step down has many complex effects on the royal family. There was a sudden change in the line of succession which put Prince William in a position to take the throne sooner than planned, which may be very different from what his father saw. The people of Britain are also getting used to this news and they may be getting ready for a new boss soon after Queen Elizabeth's death. Leaders and royal families all over the world have responded to the move. Because the British monarchy has always stood for security and continuity, the abdication of a reigning monarch is seen as a rare and important event. Supporters and outsiders are paying close attention to what's happening in the UK to try to figure out why Charles made his decision and how it will affect one of the world's most important institutions. After the news, there was a lot of talk and analysis in the media as experts tried to figure out what might have made the king decide to step down. Such as a health problem or a plan to encourage younger people to become leaders? The public's view has a lot of power, and Charles' popularity has changed a lot over the years. Some experts think that the king may have thought that abdicating was a way to improve the monarchy and give Prince William and his wife Catherine more power. The royal family and the country are both going through a time of reflection and question after King Charles III gave up his throne. An important turning point in modern history was this one of a kind choice, which was made because of a complex mix of personal family and social factors. But even though the government has had many problems, this one event could be the turning point, something that could change the way the British royal system works. During the weeks before the departure, there were small signs that people in the royal family were unhappy. People who saw Charles change the way he behaved in public, his behavior had changed from being respectful and formal to being more reserved. From inside the castle walls, it looked like the weight of being king was killing him. Even though nothing official was said, rumors were going around that the king was having a hard time balancing his duties with his health problems and the constantly changing political situation in the UK. Reports say that King Charles asked his closest friends and senior members of the royal family for help. As Charles thought about how important his duties were in light of his situation, the talks about this matter were marked by strong emotions and deep personal connection. It's thought that he thought about all the possible outcomes, such as how his decision might affect the royal family. In the end, it looks like the king decided that stepping down was the most responsible and honorable thing to do. This time has been especially hard for Camilla, the queen consort. She has always been there for Charles when things got tough in public life. She is known for her strong will and quiet power. Still, she says that the thought of him stepping down has caused her a lot of pain. Camilla's emotional response brings out the small sacrifices and human side of what is usually seen as a purely administrative matter. She has shed tears because she is worried about both Charles and the big changes they will go through as a couple as they move from their normal roles to new ones. The ruling family in charge of this change is likely to go through a period of internal reorganization. Prince William, who has been working hard to get ready to be king, needs to hurry up the process of becoming ready to take the throne. People think that his future rise will bring the throne back to life and make it more in line with the needs of modern, multicultural Britain. Still, this change is likely to be hard because William will have to walk a fine line between honoring the monarchy's customs and embracing the modern changes that are needed for it to survive in the 21st century. As the country goes through this big change, people have had a lot of different reactions. Many are sad and miss King Charles, 
recognizing how dedicated he was to his tasks and how he fought social inequality. What Kate Middleton thinks about Camilla Princess Kate made headlines when she didn't bow down to Queen Camilla at a public event. The event caught on film has led to many theories about possible problems between the two royal figures. A long time ago, the Princess of Wales was supposed to bow down to the Queen Consort as a sign of respect. The fact that Kate didn't follow this custom could be seen as an act of rebellion by some, which could lead to problems within the royal family. Even though it was short, this moment has added to the ongoing discussion about how top members of the monarchy interact with each other. As the King and Queen got off their thrones and went out of Westminster Abbey, the coronation video showed that everyone bowed and curtsied to them. They didn't move when Queen Camilla walked by, though. This answer might show that they don't like Camilla since she invited 20 people to the crowning but left out four Middleton family members who helped her become famous. Not only did the Middletons feel a lot of anger about this supposed exclusion, but so did Kate, William, and Prince Harry. This made the people in the congregation by the throne feel angry, and that rage spread. Royal experts in the press are very interested in the recent public event where Princess Kate chose not to bow to Queen Camilla. This has led to stories about the relationships in the British royal family. This event may not seem important, but it shows how complicated royal protocol is, how top royals interact with each other, and how the public is always interested in even the smallest actions related to the monarchy. The British royalty has been deeply involved in traditions for a long time. Their every move, word, and action often has deep meaning. It's not just being polite to court, it's also a, so a sign of respect for your place in the royal order. For this reason, Princess Kate chose not to honor the current queen consort, even though she is married to the king-to-be. Was a big moment that could have had effects. There was a noticeable sense of unease in the air as the royal family gathered, and all eyes were on Kate as she made her way to Queen Camilla. Kate would normally have to show Camilla respect because she is higher up in the family than she is as the Princess of Wales. Kate decided to give a quick nod instead of the traditional curtsy before going on. Even though this small change from the normal procedure didn't seem to be important, it caused a lot of speculation and talk, with some insiders suggesting that recent events may have made Kate and Camilla less close. There's no doubt that the royal family has faced many problems over the years, from the tragic death of Princess Diana to ongoing issues with public opinion and media scrutiny. These problems have sometimes caused fights between family members, and it looks like these arguments are now coming to the public's attention. Kate and Camilla are both royal, but they do their jobs in different ways, which could cause problems. People in the UK and other countries have said nice things about Kate because she writes about modern issues and focuses on mental health and children's issues. Her calm demeanor and dedication to her job have won her a lot of praise, especially from younger royal family fans. But Camilla's path to becoming queen consort has been hard. For example, her relationship with King Charles has a history of being troubled, and people at first doubted her. Throughout the years, Camilla has worked hard to make her place in the royal family memorable, focusing on things like schooling and domestic violence. Even though they do things in different ways, both women are devoted to their families and the queen. But something that happened not long ago suggests that they may have deeper disagreements about how to handle their tasks and how to treat each other. A quick change of pace many people think that Princess Diana, the people's princess, died in a car crash. But Prince William doesn't agree with that prospects for Prince Harry about his mother in an open and informative interview, Prince Harry talked about how shocked he was that his mother, Princess Diana, had died. He didn't believe it at all and said he couldn't accept her departure because he was sure she would never break up with them. Additionally, he hinted that there might be a bigger plan at work, saying that she might feel down, but she would understand how important it was to face certain problems in order to help the family heal. Princess Diana died in a terrible car accident in the Ponte El Alma tunnel in Paris 20 years ago. This year is the anniversary of that event. After much discussion, Prince Harry has finally spoken about the long-debated event. This confirms the rumors that his mother's death was not an accident but was done on purpose. His revelations have sent shockwaves around the world, getting people to talk about the events that led to her unexpected death again. At the moment, officials are looking into a new and shocking claim that the British government put an end to her life. This news has sent shockwaves around the world starting big talks and discussions. There is now even more doubt and mistrust in the British royal family, who are already getting a lot of attention and abuse for a number of reasons. Members of the public and the media are becoming less sure about how involved the establishment really is and what it might do to protect its own interests. It's very scary to think that someone in their group could take aim at a royal family member in this way. Because of this problem, we have to think about the moral and ethical effects of how power can lead to wrongdoing. 
People may be wondering if the royal family can handle all the harsh criticism they've been getting lately, since Prince Harry's honest book is getting a lot of attention. The well-known story of Princess Diana's sad death is now very much in doubt because of what Harry has recently said. Since Harry's new information came out, it calls into question the official story that had given many people peace of mind. The public has to rethink what they think they know about what's happening because of this growth. Which is especially upsetting for people who had accepted their sadness based on the knowledge they had access to before. Harry's words make it sound like there was probably intentional wrongdoing in the downfall of a respected person who was a royal symbol and a beloved philanthropist. Harry has also said more than just the facts of his mother's death. He has also said that he still thinks she might be alive which is something he did even after she died. This recognition puts light on Princess Diana's truth and gives Harry a chance to talk about his problems and struggles in the royal family. People know Prince Harry for being honest and brave and for being willing to question accepted norms. His decision to leave the royal family and move to the US with his wife Meghan Markle is a big break from royal customs and shows that he wants to make his own path. They talked about how determined they were to become financially independent, which showed how different they were from traditional standards. Harry's actions didn't seem to be motivated by his own goals. His readiness to talk about it suggests that there may be deeper reasons for his mother's death, Princess Diana, that have not been fully explored. Taking care of his complicated relationship with the media seems to be a big part of his plan, as he tries to face wrongs and complaints from the past. In this way, a lot of people are interested in how Harry's feelings about Diana are changing and if his choices that aren't typical will lead to the resolution and peace he wants. His choice has also led to questions about whether or not having a break from his official royal duties is the best way for him to reach his goals or if it could cause more problems. People all over the world are shocked and confused by what Prince Harry said, which has led to deep talks on many social media sites where people are sharing their opinions, joining discussions, and showing their anger and sadness. Princess Diana was liked by many, and her death in a terrible car accident caused sadness all over the world. When the day of her funeral comes, there are already a lot of people in the streets of London, and 20,000 more police officers are there to handle them all. Because of what Prince Harry said recently, the events of Princess Diana's Diana's death might be looked into again, especially if those responsible are not seen to be taking responsibility. It's clear that people want justice. No matter who is involved or how powerful they are, they will have to deal with the results. One person said that Princess Diana was a symbol of kindness and commitment to helping others, and that she was admired by people all over the world, not just in the British Commonwealth. The idea that she might not have died by accident but on purpose is likely to shock and upset her fans around the world. This could lead countries with ties to the British monarchy, like Canada and New Zealand, to call for responsibility. Researchers and writers can look at things from different points of view thanks to what Prince Harry has said. Because of the new knowledge, the historical discussion about Princess Diana's death will have to be redone. Researchers, investigators, journalists, and people in general are likely to look into this emerging story, which has major implications for the British royal family. It is assumed that researchers will look through old documents, talk to people, and reevaluate the evidence to find the truth. Their goal is to get a better and more complete picture of what happened before she died. Photos of her sad death in the back seat of a car have been widely shared in newsrooms across the country. This academic study helps us tell the difference between facts that are known for sure and rumors that are just that. Making sure that the history account tells the truth about what happened. This situation could be used in schools because it gives teachers a chance to talk about important issues like fairness, morals, and power dynamics. This topic might come up in your history or political science classes, especially when teachers talk about Princess Diana's impact, the stories about her death, and the things that led to it. Some people say that her death was just a chance. Was Prince Harry right when he said that it was planned? Even though these revelations might not add new evidence, they do make the conversation better. The scary prediction that Princess Diana made about this time in her life suggests that it was full of danger. Prince Harry's search for justice and the truth is part of a bigger search. He is honest because he is willing to voice his fears even though he knows what might happen. His actions are likely to go down in history as a strong example for others, encouraging them to stand up for what's right even when things get hard or dangerous. In the end, this whole thing is based on a commitment to moral honesty when it comes to the royal family. The institution has to deal with a complicated and often hostile environment while protecting its members and keeping its history alive. Because of what this revelation means. The relationships in Prince Harry's family have been tense, especially since they keep fighting with King Charles. The latest revelation and unveiling is likely to make things worse, which means that the whole royal family will have more problems in the future. 
People have different ideas about how the British government works because of this unexpected event. No matter what these SW have said, how do you think the people sees the king? Durable or not? Relatable or hard to get to? Let's find out. What do people think about the king? When it comes to Prince William's future as a leader, the people is fairly optimistic. Even though the British people criticize the government a lot, they still have a lot of respect for it because it is such an important part of their national identity. The next few months will be very important in figuring out how people feel about this change and what it means for the monarchy's place in a world that is always evolving. Many European royal families have shown their support and understanding for King Charles's hard choice to step down. The crowded streets of Brick Lane stopped for a moment as King Charles III arrived in his stylish Black Range Rover. The king, who was known for being quiet, was about to start an exciting trip that would make headlines around the world and go viral on social media. As soon as King Charles walked into the simple Bangladeshi restaurant Graham Bangla, no one could have guessed what would happen next. This study looks into why King Charles and Queen Concert Lane showed up out of the blue in East London on a February afternoon. The street is known for its many curry shops and wide range of cultures. Surprise and happiness were felt by everyone when the royal couple showed up out of the blue. King Charles was dressed in his usual clothes and acted in a way that was different from how a royal person usually acts. People in the restaurant were shocked at first when he walked in and that shock slowly spread to everyone else. King Charles is known for being quiet most of the time, but he got along well with both the staff and the customers at the restaurant while he was there. He had a friendly chat with the owner, Shamsuddin, who has been helping people in the area for more than 20 years. When he went there, the king was very interested in the place's past and the food. The time he walked up to the bar and blender that was already working was one of the most memorable. The young waiter replied, Your Highness, it's a mango lassie in an unexpected change of events. Charles said he wanted to try making one on his own. The restaurant staff was shocked for a moment, but all they could do was nod as the King of England rolled up his sleeves and went behind the bar. A lot of people were moved to tears when they saw the king do this ordinary job and some of them decided to record it on their phones. As soon as the news of the royal visit spread, people on social media shared their thoughts and feelings. Videos of King Charles making a mango lassie became popular, along with popular hashtags. People all over the world connected with the king doing something common, which gave them a more personal view of him than his normal formal image. What began as a short stop on a tour of East London quickly became a big deal on the internet. A new side of King Charles that shows how friendly and curious he is, as well as how interested he is in the different cultures in the UK. While this cultural exchange was going on, some people noticed that the British royalty seemed more modern and approachable. The Queen's trip was one of many events in East London that brought attention to the area's cultural history and the important parts that its immigrant communities have played. And the King's visit to the restaurant went above and beyond what was expected, making a lot of people happy who heard about it. The Mango Lassie event on Brick Lane gave us a big look into King Charles III's personality. He is a man whose life has been shaped by duty, family, and a desire to stay relevant in this day and age, even though he was born more than 70 years ago. This small event turned into an example of how small acts of kindness can change people's minds and make them more willing to help others. If you like this video, please click the next button and share it with your friends.